the FIFA World Cup, Brandon knows, is well underway. And while players are toughing it out on the pitch, we decided to bring that battle into the kitchen. Yes, this is the Food Cup, the World Cup of food, rather. And food expert Mary Berg has Tunisia and England going head to head ahead I of today's game. I feel like we've already chosen sides. We have. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to my flag. Woo! Yeah, this is for my friends, uh, Andy and Jody Potter, who are huge England fans that Amazing. I know are watching this afternoon. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. Like, this is the, uh, the World Cup is like the only time that I actually really enjoy watching soccer. Yeah. It's so exciting. It yes. is. To see all the fans and everybody get so, like, passionate about their country. It's yes. so amazing. I'm cheering for Iceland. Okay. Oh, because you want to do that clap. Yeah. That clap. With the, woo, when they do. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's amazing. Spooky. Yeah. Okay, but, so we'll bring you on for Icelandic dishes if they do okay. Perfect. But right now, let's talk about wings, which are a good food anytime you it's watch a good, it's mm -hmm. exactly like i when i was thinking of these recipes i wanted to do something that's kind of like canadian pub food but with a with a spin nice. okay so these are our tunisia spin chicken wings and, and you can't go wrong with chicken you wings. can't go wrong with chicken yeah. wings so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um kind of like a hot wing but instead of using like that classic buffalo wing sauce mm -hmm. we're gonna use harissa Ooh. Okay, what is harissa? So harissa is like a traditional North African spicy sauce. So okay. it's from Tunisia. Mm -hmm. It's got things like, it's delicious. It's so delicious and spicy and oily. Is it so hot? It's a little spicy. You smell. You can smell. It's got some smokiness to it. There's oh, paprika. Yeah, that's nice. There's like cumin in there. Ooh, yeah. If you've ever had shakshuka, it kind of tastes similar to that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's really good. So. How do I make it, Mary? Oh, gosh. We, for these ones, we're getting store-bought. Okay. But if you want to <laughs> make easy? it yourself, it's easy. It's just red pepper, um, chili flakes, cumin, coriander, a lot of the good stuff. Okay. Right. And then if you would mix in that butter for me. Awesome. Yeah, so we need that butter so in there. So this is like melted butter, right? Melted butter. Okay. Perfect. All Brandon, you're getting yeah, all of it. I'm learning now so you much. Ask. Before yeah. you were like, all just of it. Just put it yeah. all in <laughs> And then a little bit of lemon juice, just to what give it a lemon right. do it brightens everything up i okay. love adding lemon to things that are spicy or anything because it kind of opens your tongue up and makes you like oh. ready to go is that cilantro okay. no that's going Close. in that's going in marie's thing okay. <laughs> would you get that a stir for me I we're will... gonna get going on this all righty so and again when you have hot wings you kind of want something cool to dip things yes. in, right so instead of doing a ranch or a blue cheese we're gonna do a yogurt dipping sauce okay. so would you pour that into here okay all of it all of it mm -hmm. this is just greek yogurt which is not tunisian but that's okay. <laughs> kind of close, North it's, Africa. It's inspired. It's inspired. And then we've got some garlic and lemon zest. Okay. And then here we've got mint and parsley. So Ooh, a ton. So it's nice. really fresh and bright and delicious. Perfect. Like and when you're done with that, just spoon some in there. Okay. Brandon, you're doing great. All right. You know what's great about this, Mary, is it's easy to put together. Super easy. And another thing that I did that was easy is, um, I know you and Andrea uh, Bucket did this last week. We baked these chicken wings instead with baking yes. powder. Yes. Mm. Because what baking powder does is it makes the chicken wings a little more alkaline and it browns them up and crisps them up a little oh. bit. That's what I like is the crispy. Crispy. Yes. You can't, you can't have chicken wings without that little crisp. No, you don't, want, no, you don't yeah. want soggy. Mm -hmm. That's gross. But basically all we do is we toss these up and around. Right. And I'm going to not be messy, but let's be honest. Sometimes. Mary, I put stuff in a Ziploc bag because it's easier to shush it up. Key thing to do. Really Anne Marie with the hacks. This is honestly the best. <laughs> that's all I know are hacks, Mary. But that's a good thing. That's what we need. So basically, all we do is this pop mm -hmm. those onto a beautiful serving platter. And I'll get the flag back there. And we got the flag. All right. Can we try one? Yes. So they are spicy. So be I like careful. Spice. I'm okay, okay with that. You do that. I I'll figured I've got like two people well. who might like some, a little bit of spice. Oh, of I course. like some heat. Yeah. Sorry, I made kind of a mess. No, that's right okay. In. Ooh, this one, one has a lot of spice on it. So it's kind of smoky. Mm-hmm. Not good. Yeah, Mary, and then a little bit of lemon. This is amazing. Right? Mm -hmm. Now we gotta go on to mm -hmm. meat pies, though, guys, right? Okay. Because we're going over to Thank England. You. You're welcome. So, here we have some sausage and ale pies. I feel like we should have started with the pies because they're a little neater to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is a hot water dough, so it's so much easier to make than a classic dough. Oh. All we do is knead it up, hot water, melt the butter, so good and easy, and it's kind of like, feels like modeling clay. Yeah. I'm not gonna it lie. Does. So you cut it into little rounds. Cut it into rounds, and then here we have some sausage, just classic, like right. we can use bangers, you can use Italian sausage, cooked with a little bit of onion, some mm -hmm. celery, some carrot, and a bit of ale in there, because we need beer. Yeah. And this is so easy to get the kids involved. So right? easy yeah. and then all we do this is the fun part and I'm gonna get you guys to do this so I'm gonna put some of this filling in there there's also a little potato in there cuz I think it gives it a little body okay, okay. and then I'm gonna brush a corner or an edge Mm. And if you guys want to fold those over into little moon-shaped pies. Oh, it's oh. a bit like a pierogi, Mary. Exactly, like okay. a giant pierogi. Oh, so like this? Okay. Yep, perfect. Oh, nope. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Almost. I think Anne-Marie's got it. Oh, like that. You nailed it. And I like the 
thought you were making a full moon. <laughs> you were balling it up. This is why I go over to AM's house for exactly. dinner. <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. And then okay. you just cut a slit in top, wash it with egg. That looks great, Brandon. Well, I mean, you, you know. Gotta seal it, you know, seal it, buddy. <laughs> you gotta seal it. And then we end up with these little guys. So oh, they're perfectly yeah. oh. brown. They're crispy. I was gonna ask you, Mary, how are you gonna eat those watching the game? But this makes this sense. This makes sense. They're hand pies. So instead yeah. of cutting it using a fork, they're yeah. like perfect and like look at that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Super. Mary. Right? So good. You did it again. All right. If you wanna try out some of these recipes ahead of today's game, you can go to yourmorning.ca. Mary's put all the recipes there for us. Thank you. And 2 p.m. Tunisia versus. Yeah. And don't forget Go this. England. And then the that. beer. You drink the beer, I'll eat this. Okay. Still ahead on your morning. <laughs>